Hello everybody, it's Daniel. Welcome to part four of Android Studio 4.0, recorded August 2020. Today uh, we're, work uh, we're working on a grocery delivery app or food restaurant app. And today we're gonna make it so then when you so that when you click on an item, say this tofu scramble, it goes to a new screen. So right now I just used a placeholder, but we're gonna we're gonna make it where you click on something, it just goes to an individual screen. Let me go ahead and clear that. That's what we're going to be doing. Um, first things first, uh, let's create our new screen. So um, we click, where it's, let's create that screen right now really quick. That's just a placeholder. Um, so we already have, let's see, we already have, I think, first fragment. I think second fragment is that. I'm not sure that's being used. I'm gonna go ahead and close that. Uh, let's go ahead and go to first fragment. Let's copy and paste that using keyboard shortcuts. Commands, command C, command V. Let's do product info. And this will create a new fragment. Fragment is basically a screen. Um, so now we have a duplicate. We have product info and first fragment, which are duplicates right now other than the name. Uh, let's work on product info. And let's actually, um, just say, I'm gonna check something. What we need to do is, I should check my audio. Oh, that's good, okay, cool. Uh, let's go ahead and, uh, for product info, let's delete some of the stuff we don't actually need. We don't need the comments. Anything beginning with those just means it's gonna be ignored. Actually, I can get rid of all of that because we don't need it. Actually, get rid of that. So we're just left with a product info class. Um, a fragment, I mean, or, well, it's a class, but it's a fragment. Um, now for our layout, we have, um, this is using the fragment first, which I don't even know what it looks like. That could have used second fragment. Anyways, that's fine. Um, so back to product info, so, yeah, second fragment. Yeah, either, I mean, it's the same thing. Let's go back to product info. Let's create, let's go to this uh, layout, the XML layout, fragment first. Uh, let's go ahead and, um, this actually looks good. I'm gonna copy that and paste it. There's a number of ways you can do this, but I'll just do this product underscore info in info. Uh, go ahead and save that. I'm gonna close everything else. So we just have that one tab and our product info. These are the only two classes we're going to be working with. Um, so uh, let's go ahead and change that to product info. So now product info uses our product info XML layout. Um, let's go to split mode. Actually, no, let's go to design mode. Um, yeah, just go to split mode. I'm gonna select that and delete it. And I should get rid of the, you yeah, know, let's just see if this works. Let's add a text view. Text view, drag it in there. Did it do it right? Yep, actually did, okay, cool. Um, we'll do uh, click drag. Again, we've done this many times. I have probably about a 50 to 100 videos on this on my YouTube channel. Uh, we'll just do, let's go to the bottom actually. It's alt click or I think it's alt click. Alt click on there actually. Control click on there. I don't usually use this. There we go. It's command click on the one you wanna delete. Um, there we go. Uh, let's align this actually to, um, for now we'll just get rid of the right one. I think we'll show you how to do it later. Let's just really quickly give it some padding until we get to the main part of this. Um, let's just make it uh, search for, really quickly I'll call this some um, product title. Um, we'll search for text size. We'll just make it very big. This doesn't really matter for now. And we'll change it to, um, let's call this, um, vegan chocolate cake. Okay, uh, in case you haven't determined by now, I'm actually vegan. Um, okay, so we have this, and product info will display that. Okay, um, what do we need to do? Uh, to actually go from here, the screen to the product info page, we need to create that link. Uh, we can do so by going into the navigation, uh, nav graph, and we have our fragment. So we can actually select it there 
um, product info and you can drag it anywhere. This doesn't actually save, I don't think. Uh, oops. It's just more for you to look at here in Android Studio. Uh, I'll put it there. Um, so we wanna go from, I think, our first fragment to our product info fragment. Did I? Anyways, uh, what we'll do is we'll click on there, um, just click and drag from that to that. Creates the link, save it. Now we can go to our adapter, restaurants adapter, and here, okay. Um, so inside of our adapter, we have our view holder. We have our bind function or method here. Inside of here, I want to do something. We're going to do our on click listener here, but first we need the ID. Uh, let's look at the a single restaurant row. The ID for this is actually image view. Let's name that um, main, main photo. And um, we'll do yes. And that should, um, that gets, yep, yeah, that, that renames it automatically. So now anywhere this image view was referenced, it'll be named main photo now. Let's go back to restaurants adapter. We'll do a main photo. Yeah, so we actually can't just type main photo. We have to do um, item view or we can do actually, let's put a vowel there. We'll do it this way. Oh, uh, that's, oh damn, that's the wrong thing. Uh, vowel there. That'll make it a variable that's um, actually could be private. I will do that. Okay, here we can do view. And that's the same thing as a view dot main photo. Um, it's actually the same, it's actually the same thing, sorry, as item view dot main photo. Um, I usually just use this, but actually I use data binding, which we'll get to later. Uh, we'll use the view for now. We'll do set on click listener. We've done this before. Any code inside of here gets executed when you tap on the main photo there. That's the main photo, right? Main photo. Yep, cool. Um, okay, now inside of here, do view dot uh, nav controller. Uh, find nav controller dot, and I think this comes from the uh, extension. Uh, yeah. Android X actually. So we have that and we can do, uh, I think it's navigate. Uh, then inside of here we can put our ID. So we can actually always usually put r dot, uh, what, was, what did I put before? I think it's I, ID, so it's r dot ID. Um, and then we just put the ID of whatever we want. So inside of the nav graph, it's, it'll actually tell us for it. So we can just put r dot, it's up there, yeah. So R dot ID dot, and then you can like kind of, you know, guess. It usually starts with action or always does, I think. Um, and we can tell uh, it's actually a first fragment to product info. It's not one of the others. Just do action. Here, all of our actions. So it's obviously the product info one. And um, no, putting it in the manifest, it's a fragment. And I think we can actually just audio. I think we can actually just run this as I think it'll work. Okay, gonna go ahead and save it, run it back to the emulator, and uh, let's wait a second to load. Oh, by the way, what I did before, I just uh, I played around with it for like two or three minutes just to work. Um, so here it is. So this is what we had before, and now if we actually click on the image, oh, it actually goes to our vegan chocolate cake. Um, so you'll notice all of these actually, if I click on the vegan breakfast platter, it still goes to vegan chocolate cake. Same thing for vegan non burrito, which is actually really good. Sorry, I'll stop talking about it. Um, but in the next video, we'll actually customize this product info page depending upon what you click on. So again, it's this is all product info, but we're just gonna display a different title based upon what you clicked. No need to create like a chocolate fragment, a, uh, um, a vegan nom, a try hard coffee fragment. This is all uh, cherry wood coffee, whatever. This is all um, the same fragment, just customizing the title and maybe the image and price. All the surroundings, formatting, colors are all gonna stay the same. Um, that's it, I think. Um, oh, we also need to add a custom, we'll probably add a back button uh, in the, uh, We'll do a standard back button in the toolbar. 
Uh, here we go. Yeah. So click on one of the image. Uh, I think if you click on just one of the rows, it's not going to do anything. Um, add to cart doesn't do anything yet. Um, we may do that in the next video. Uh, actually, in the next video, we'll customize the product info page. So click on vegan breakfast platter. It'll say vegan breakfast platter instead of this. See you in the next video.